I'm live. <laughs> Tasha's nervous. I'm terrified. <laughs> terrified. See, there's nobody on yet. It's no big deal. It takes a little time for people to get on there. Everyone's watching the snowbirds. That's true. Yeah. And what great weather do we have for that? So we are live at the hive again for another week. I'm going to pop that up. I'm trying to see the banner, but then it's kind of a constant balancing act ask. It's okay. You yeah. It didn't work. That's right. See it on our handy dandy shirts that we have in stock now in white and black. Modeling our white shirt, we have the lovely Jocelyn <laughs> Stockton. Come around this way. Be a little oh, bit further from the camera. This is my daughter. She's 13. <laughs> Child exploitation. Yay. We're moving into new realms. <laughs> So yeah, we just got these shirts in stock here at The Hive on Prince Street, and you'll be seeing them buzzing around events this summer. If you'd like your own, definitely get in touch. Shoot us a message in the comments or a DM, and we'll get in touch with you. We have, I think, we don't have a, quite a full range anymore. We've sold out a few. Yeah. But yeah, double check on, uh, we'll be restocking those pretty soon. So it has been a very full week, and it's going to be an even more full month. So as I said, this is Tasha. You may have gotten messages from her or seen comments uh, made by her. <laughs> My sister just clicked in. We were talking a second ago, and now she's going to be mad at me. Hi, Kelly. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so Tasha started working here a little more than a month ago. I did. We're closing on two months. I know. Where does the time go? I don't know. We need to, like, clean glasses or something. I she's fired me yet. Oh, well. <laughs> Yay. Doing good. <laughs> yeah, I know. We are doing really good. <laughs> Uh, we were lucky that if you haven't heard or are looking, uh, I reached out to FutureWorks uh, here in Nova Scotia, in, Nova Scotia, in Truro, FutureWorks in Truro, about needing to hire someone and trying to find the right fit and how about go about that process. And they actually hooked me up with Tasha. So you had gone to FutureWorks as well before I was in the picture. Well, okay. So... I have been a stay-at-home mom for the last 11 years. Also and... known as the hardest job of all. <laughs> yes, it's challenging. <laughs> so, um, Jocelyn's now at that age. We're at that sweet spot now where I can work from home or wherever or I can work. And uh, so I'd actually been trying to get a job and I was finding it really hard. Um, so being very vulnerable here right now, guys. Um, Renee Brown will be so proud. I know, seriously. But uh, very, very vulnerable situation. Um, so employers weren't really interested in me and didn't find me um, with experience but let me tell you you know living you know 11 years mm -hmm. on a single person income it definitely comes with its challenges and I definitely think that I have experience oh man <laughs> like you were actually the second mom I've hired um, Sam who I've hired for rolling C if you happen to know her on that crossover uh, she was saying that her kids were grown and gone, but she was looking for a job to kind of fill the time, like didn't need it to work, but just her husband was still working full time and was looking for something to do in the daytimes. And that's perfect for me. Moms are invaluable hires. Like the workforce needs to get on that. I cannot say enough, but they know <laughs> they anticipate your needs before you have them because they're used to doing it with kids. Yes. They... <laughs> are good at keeping you in line if you're a raging hurricane like I am <laughs> and like, it's just I can't say enough. I wish I should we should make an inspirational video about hiring moms because people really need to get on that train yeah I was just really glad that it all worked out mm -hmm. um shout out to Erin she was kind of helping me Aaron out here. yeah we love Erin mm -hmm. and Robigay um at the Truro office there on um Inglis Place so mm -hmm. I'm forever indebted because I feel like I found my dream job and we click really well. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shane Wilson, my partner is also indebted because I now have much more free time. She gets sleep now. That's a bit of a lie, <laughs> but I have some more free time now that I have found a great employee that's really helping out. Yeah. So future works is an excellent program. Uh, highly, if you're either in the market to hire or maybe looking for a position yourself, highly recommend you check them out. They're amazing. Yeah. So you will see Tasha uh, buzzing around at events. You might get your message from her. She's manning all of the, a lot of the day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, and speaking of events, you may see her at We've Got Two this week. We do. If you watched live last week, uh, we had Jen and Carla from the DDP, Downtown Tour Partnership here, had me blindfolded sampling beers and other Those shenanigans. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm actually surprised I didn't hear more about that video. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway, uh, that I was, was hoping for some leftovers. I know. There was one in the fridge. I don't know. I can't have old beer. Yeah, fair. I know. I tried <laughs> to, like, stuff it. Uh, anyway. That, uh, so tomorrow night, uh, June 20th, uh, 4 to 8 on English Place, is Celebrate Summer. And that is a big, free family event that is happening downtown, English, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. They've got face painting. They have art happening. They have street specials. They oh, have... Tenet. Halifax Henna is going to be there. They've got, um, Half is doing an event down there as well, I think. Or is that on the Cheers That's to Summer? That's on the Cheers to Summer. Um, Bee Fish Production's going to be there. Yeah, That's right. Live music. Yeah, he's, he's really good. I like seeing him around. His music is awesome and now yeah. just keeps it. Uh, they're actually doing a really good uh, art project with Gen Power Art they were talking about last week where they're doing a mural and asking people to uh, contribute to this giant mural which is going to be placed somewhere in the downtown when it's complete and they're doing that on both nights of the events so definitely have a look for that and then on Friday June 21st we have Cheers to Summer yeah. Also going to be amazing. So that's the 19 plus event. We got the family event on Thursday, four to eight, and then five to nine Friday, we have the adult event where we have craft brewers coming in and they're setting up in different stores, which we have been putting on our feed with which stores featuring which brewery. And for $25 a ticket, you can get eight different samples of beer, get different uh, specials that are in all the stores on uh, English, and not just on English, because uh, Beck and Boosh is taking Beck part as well, which is around the yep, four suit and, yep. That's right, yep. So uh, tickets for that are 25 and you can also uh, get them on the street at the night of if you don't get them ahead of time. Oh, look, there's Erin. Were your ears burning, Erin? Did you hear us talking about we you earlier? Talking. If not, you'll have to go back to the video uh, once it's posted and look at our little whoop whoop to Erin Barkley. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we'll be there. Uh, we're going to do an Instagram takeover for both nights. So it'll be on Truro Buzz's account as well as the Downtown Truro Partnership. I think it's Downtown Truro is their handle. So have a watch for that. Speaking of, up till tonight, we were doing a contest asking people uh, what were their favorite things about summer. And if you commented, you got a chance to win the tickets and we are going to announce our winners now. So do you have the names there? Did I open that Right there. Oh Boom. my gosh. Right. We forgot about the food truck too. See what I mean? Oh yes. Sorry, contest winners. Hang on. Time out. The suspense. The most important part. <laughs> uh, tomorrow. Hurry, my face. Tomorrow <laughs> night, Thursday, Macquarie's parking lot, food truck rally. They are all going to be in the Macquarie's parking lot. Macquarie's. I'm not saying Macquarie's. Right. Yeah, she's with Macquarie's. I'm not from here. That's okay. Macquarie's. She's Newfoundlander. <laughs> food trucks. Do not forget, if you're in English Place enjoying the downtown, be sure to head over to Macquarie's for the food trucks that are going to be there at 4 o'clock as well. Yeah. Jeff Atkins says, hi, hi Tasha. <laughs> so, yeah, now on to the big announcement, our winners. So we had lots of entries on both. Thank you awesome. so much. It was so exciting. It's and hard to go through them all, too. It was. It was yeah, it yeah, was, which it was is great, which yeah. is what we hope to see. So, the winner for the Facebook tickets is Sharon Edwards. We'll be sending you a message when we get this video done. Yep. And on Instagram, even though we're not on Instagram right now. No, we're not. It is Carrie Chisholm. Yay! So thanks, girls. Good job. You each get a pair of tickets each. Uh, you can either, uh, we have them here, right? We have them here. Yeah. Yep. So, so we'll make arrangements to pick up here, or I can leave them at um, the downtown with the, where the tent is with your name on it. I'll DM you guys and we can figure that out. Exactly. So thank you for everybody who entered. We are actually going to have lots of giveaways coming up uh, over the summer. We're working yep. on so many projects. Yeah. We've got downtown giveaways. We've got restaurant giveaways. Like, it's like, Oprah, and you get a giveaway, and you get... Okay, that's not... It's not <laughs> quite... We're not at Oprah level, unfortunately, but hopefully... We're working on it. Yeah. Another fun thing we got to do this week, uh, if you follow our feed, was we were at the uh, Dalhousie Agricultural Campus <laughs> on Monday. Did you see the video? Yes. <laughs> My daughter's laughing. Yeah, oh, pretty funny. Man. <laughs> Wait till the blooper one comes out. <laughs> yeah, so those are going to be coming up early July. You definitely have to watch for those. Yeah. So they asked us to come in and do a promotional uh, video for their upcoming event, Community Day, which is happening on Thursday, July 18th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. They open up the college. You come in. They've got horse wagon rides. You get to see chicks being born and hatched and all kinds of really cool stuff. Yeah. And we decided to shoot it in the pasture with the cows. <laughs> Someone's not a farm girl. I'm really not. <laughs> no. 
but it was super fun. Uh, cows are like giant puppies. They're amazing. Uh, electric fences hurt, <laughs> I heard. Yeah, I kind of grabbed the electric fence and got a good old jolt, so good times. <laughs> sadly, I say sadly, sadly, the camera was not rolling at the time. Yeah. But oh man, I, felt it. I will never forget that scream. <laughs> it was, it's funny now because she's yeah. okay and wasn't hurt, but holy yeah. god. No Tashes were harmed in the film. No Tashes were harmed. Hello, Ashley. Thanks for tuning in and waving. So yeah, they uh, we were there. Take um, not take. Tune in for those videos. We're gonna have those after the Canada Day hullabaloo has yeah, long passed. So much going on right now. Absolutely. Oh my yeah. gosh, there's so much. It's, it's there's so much going on in the summer. It's funny. Last year, um, I was in a meeting of something about events coming on, and one of the guys there was saying it used to be like gotta get out of town every weekend, go to the cottage. And now it's like, should we go to the cottage that weekend? What's going on in town? Because there's so many events happening. Like it's, it's just amazing. Speaking of which, uh, if you go to the churrobuzz.com website, I've put all the events up on our calendar. So if you're That's wondering right. whether or not you should skip the cottage or stick around, you can check out churrobuzz.com events. That's a very good point. If you're making your summer travel plans to be out of town, or even if you're making them with time off and want to see what's going around Colchester at all, churrobuzz.com uh, has an events calendar up there, which we're updating as much as possible. If you have events, please send them on yeah. in to us at churrobuzz at gmail.com. And there's also a weekly newsletter that we keep plugging every week because we work really hard on it. <laughs> so that goes out every Thursday. If you want to sign up for that, you can do that on churrobuzz.com as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we, oh, oh next, yeah, week. next week, yeah, next week we are going to be live at Silver Mint. If you don't know what Silver Mint is, you are going to be so excited. So if you have been here or familiar with downtown Truro, we are in the building on Prince Street, which is currently without a front exit. That's how everybody will know yes. which building we are <laughs> at the Hive while it's uh, At least under our windows aren't covered anymore. Yes. We were plywood up. Yeah. So that looks like it's going to be done soon. They're working on it. Thanks for everybody's patience. But that building is where Silver Mint has moved. They're still on Prince Street, uh, if you had been in there before. So Silver Mint is a thrifting and vintage store uh, run by Lindsay and Adam. And it is glorious. So I have been over there a lot because yeah. <laughs> they moved in across the hall. And they forever have amazing things. Actually, excuse me. If you get a chance or interested, check out their um, Instagram or Facebook mm -hmm. feed at Silver Mint because they do this really great thing where not only are they finding the great clothes, they're putting them to the outfits yeah. together and then they Take post pictures. a picture of the outfit. Yeah. To me, like that's it's sold. As soon as you put it into an outfit, is oh god. Yeah, she posted a picture of shoes today and I was like, Ooh. did you see that that denim dress? Yeah, it's cute. First thing I did was like scan through to find the size. I was like, small. Oh. She had this like slinky style pink dress and it was like like a blush pink and so cute for a wedding. Yeah. So if you're looking for a wedding, she's got some cute dresses. Yeah, shoes, purses, jewelry, dresses, and they have a really nice men's section put together yeah. there. So like they- um, Huge variety too. Yeah. Something for everyone, honestly. It's fantastic. Yeah. So we are gonna go over there and do Live at the Hive attachment uh, next week. And we're gonna look at what they do, talk about thrifting, and she's gonna help me pick out something. I feel like this is the age, like you might have seen, I've seen a lot of people's feeds and people I've talked to about like leveling up your wardrobe, and it's like, you know, I wanna get a little more professional, a little more adult. Right, and, we're not Eclipse, yeah. but we're not Tanya either. There you go. You know? <laughs> I actually just got a really nice blazer from Eclipse. Okay. I haven't been in there in a long time, but I forgot how nice their stuff is. Not putting them down by any means, but. No, by any means at all. We're but pushing they also, 40. It's all, <laughs> sorry. I threw that in Girl. Sorry. I can't Bye -bye. go back a few minutes. Unfortunately, it's stupid live. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's the, in a uh, time where we're trying to like recycle and not throw away so much, yeah. it's great to have a business like that that is all about finding, reusing, reloving the clothes that's out there and barely loved. So that's what we'll be doing next week. If we survive this weekend, because holy moly, is it a busy one. I know. I'm so excited. So stay tuned. Follow us. Um, Share our stuff. We love that because sharing is caring. Yes, please and thank you. Yeah. And if you have suggestions on anything you'd like to see or places you want us to go, open them up. We are going to be asking for suggestions yeah. uh, shortly involved with another giveaway contest about your favorite things in Colchester, places to stay, restaurants, all yeah. that fun stuff. So definitely keep an eye open for that. And for the sports people, um, my kids are heavily involved in sports, which is great. So I've got a different 
demograph? Yes. This has been nice. incredibly helpful. So Tasha is from here, born and raised in Lower Lower Onslow. Lower Onslow, Lower right. Yeah. So this has been a really good match because she's connected to so many more things than I am. And also having the kid aspect really helps, especially the eight. You've got 13, 13 11, 11, and eight. Yeah, so three kids, and I'm on the other side of the bay now. So if you're wondering how so say my last name it's stock dyke <laughs> jay silent but yeah so we're all over the place with hockey and lacrosse yep. and yep um volleyball and yeah all kinds of fun stuff so i'm trying to target that demographic as well so yeah that's which is super helpful because yeah. i'm not involved in that stuff at all and uh, oh this friday um for all you social media lovers out there i am heading over to halifax uh for social media day 2019 that's happening in Bears Lake. I'm super pumped about that. I'll be doing some stories and updates from out there. Mm -hmm. um, if you're familiar with Twerk Communications, who is here for our social media day, this is a day that she puts off. And there's like nine different speakers, if not more, doing a variety of workshops from Instagram stories to live videos to Twitter conversations, like super fun, awesome, professional day. I can't wait to go there. Uh, if you have any questions about that or stuff you'd like to see that comes back, by all means, uh, let me know. You forgot about Monday. What's happening on Monday? Dashboard looking. Yeah. Oh, did I not say that? No. <laughs> we even have a list there. We have know. a list, but we're just like. Wait now. Yep. Oh, Dash I. Dash no, Dash I didn't even go through this. Oh, touch no. a truck either. Touch a truck's on mm -hmm. Saturday. So I'm sure you probably follow Dashboard Living already uh, because they're amazing. Oh, Connie says, yay, Tasha, so happy to see you here. Oh, hi, Connie. <laughs> Shout out for Laura Onslow. That's right. Uh, yeah, so Dashboard Living, you probably already follow them because they're amazing and they do super fun things all over the province. And all of the Maritimes, they do some stuff in your province. They're pretty cool. Too. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. So they do a show every Monday night called Dashboard Dish, and they've actually been featuring a lot of um, Truro places on the faces of Truro for the last couple of weeks and into the summer. And we are going to be on it this <laughs> Monday. So Monday on Dashboard Living's live Facebook feed will be Truro Buzz, live at the Hive on another night. Yeah, next week's gonna be busy. Yep. Good busy though. It's good to be busy. Yeah, it's definitely good to be busy. Yeah. Especially when yeah, no, sunny days. It's like, but then it's nice to be sunny. I digress. But yeah, so that's uh hopefully we'll see you around downtown Truro tomorrow, either at Celebrate Summer, and please pray to every god you know of that Friday Friday's night rain. doesn't rain because yeah. that would be not nice. But even if it does rain, all of the beer samples are inside. Yeah. And a lot of, like, on that one side of prints, you're pretty much under awnings the whole way. You got a little bit of, hopefully it's not torrential, and it's just maybe a little sprinkle. Yeah. But, I yeah. I think it's forecasting for too much if it is. Yeah, I didn't check on the amount, yeah. which I probably should do. But um, <laughs> keep up the great work, ladies. Thank you, Kimberly. Yeah. Oh, also, if you are a parent going to uh, that event on Friday or wanting to and without a sitter, Levels Loft is doing a 5x5 five five event, is Yep, it? so you get five hours. For, at five o'clock for twenty dollars, uh, I believe kids, kids ages, have to be yeah. eleven and up or ten and up. If Christine's watching, maybe she can check. I can post it in the comments. Yeah, and that events would be on their page as well or their media's if you follow them. So yeah. if you do want to go to the sample, but you got the kids for the night, feel free to bring them over to Levels. They can have some gaming for a few hours while you go enjoy some beer samples. Yeah, and you may want to call and book your console ahead of time too. I did see that they they're probably going to be yeah. Because that That's gonna aligns be really well. Five hours for 20 bucks. That's a pretty sweet deal. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll have lots more on the go from here on out, really. Bye. Bye. You did good. It was good. Oh, everybody comment and tell her it was good. <laughs> Love.